Right, welcome to the day after tomorrow. So, what I'm doing here is fitting hinges to the door, which is going to go in the workshop. So each side, and I'm, I haven't built the frame yet, but this is one of the side um, parts of the frame. So I'm going to fit the hinges, or at least the rebates for the hinges, one, two, three, in before I actually fit the door frame because it will just be easier to work on a bench like this rather than stand it up and do it. So what I'm doing is I'm using these this internal edge here and I'm going to line that up here with the edge of this timber. So some people push the hinge on and we use the barrel but I like to leave a little bit of a gap so that barrel is actually standing a little tiny bit away. So if you use that internal edge, that gives you that little gap. And it also makes sure, means that every one will be the same distance in. And then the first step, which I kind of already did because, um, and the video didn't really come out, but First step, hold that in place where you want it, and then run a knife, a sharp knife, around the edge of the hinge. And we'll go over this afterwards and make it deeper. So this just breaks down the wood fibers, cuts through the wood, make chiseling out easier. Now this one at the back here, this back edge, you've got to go a bit carefully, otherwise the knife will just follow the grain. So you just go in small passes and just don't, otherwise and just be careful that knife doesn't jump out and cross the grain. It's doing it a little bit at the end here, trying to follow the grain instead of the knife mark. Make sure it's in the right place. Now this hinge, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose this back part. This is rebated in here for a weather seal. And that hinge depth is about three mil off here. So I'm fairly sure as I start chiseling this out, that piece is going to break, but that's fine if it does. Now what I also do is, on your edges, just make sure you, you can see the edge transfer down there. What I also do is hold the hinge up on its side, just tr hold it level with the front just try and transfer on the depth of the hinge. This will just make it easier when doing the chiseling out. Again, be careful you're not just following the grain. Be careful you're actually following the, like that was. Try and follow the actual hinge. Not jump off into the grain like it wants to do right there. Just get that marked on, even if it's just lightly, at each end at least. And then we'll use a steel rule in place and run along. So just make sure that's in the right place. There. Okay. Out of the way. So yeah, that jumped into the grain a bit there, but that's okay. Now with this steel roll, go a bit deeper. Just do one from one direction. 
And I'll come around and do the other side, pulling in this direction. Just hold it down. This was just me, when I'm chiselling in, I get a nice finish on this side as well as the edges. And it will help me go, guide how deep I need to go. Just join them up again. Join them up. Okay. So that's that marked, hopefully. That's coming out. Just here. I've got the depth marked in. Now I'm going to put it back upright, clamp it down. With a couple of little quick release clamps. quick release clamp that should be fine and then time to start chiseling let's what I might do first just gently go into that edge again I'm totally expecting to lose that back piece because it is literally two mil, but let's see. Right. Now, let's see. So we can start clearing some of this out now. So now I can use that edge that I cut on the side as the kind of level of where I want to get to. And then I just work the chisel in. And just remove that. So I can do the edge again. And then it's just a case of working through. Removing that material that's in the way until you've got a bit that's right, it's the right height. It's always better to work coming at an angle so you get a shearing effect. This is where I could lose that edge now. Just try and carefully go in there. Mm, so far so good. But I'm sure we could lose it. To go a bit deeper on this corner. And that corner. Now, what I don't want to do is push back as I'm. Oh, it's just flexing. But hopefully not breaking. Take a bit more of this out. Hopefully that is not too deep. Let's take that out a bit at a time.
just use the edge just to shave up just because we don't want to damage that back edge if we can help it now what I might do because that edge is so delicate is take my metal rule again just see if I can have a go with the metal with the knife just try and keep that edge not that this really matters this is a shed door after all but you know Why not? Nearly there. A bit higher there. A little bit higher at the back still because I'm being very ginger with this back section. Just trying to maintain that back edge. Right, let's try the hinge. So there you can see that lip. It's probably one and a half mil thick. Okay. So, that's not too bad. It's a bit higher on this side. It's okay on this side. That back has pushed out a tiny fraction. Not bad though. So, tiny bit on this side. Just need to work this down. Feels a tiny bit high there. Possibly just there. Let's try that. There you go. Oh, tiny bit. Just that back corner there. This is where you need a sharp chisel. And then just clean that out. Probably went a little deep there, but that's fine. There you go, perfect. So that is that, that edge is maintained. You can see how thin that edge is, there. That's like a mill thick. So that's that. Not too bad, didn't go through that. Still there. Let's put that there so you can see it. bring you in for a close-up. 
Let's put this here. So, here we go. That's the close up. Nicely flush. Maintains that edge on the back there, surprisingly. Even though it is about a mil thick. And that's nice and flush on both sides. So that's that, that is it. Um, I will do the other two on this rail, and I've got three on the other rail. Then I will put the frame together. The rest of the frame is over here. So we've got the other side rail. Top rail is there. That's the sill. There. Yeah, and that's the other side rail. And that is going to go in there. Where are we? In there, eventually. So that should probably be next week's video. But for now, I shall work on chopping out the rest of these hinges. All right, see you on the next video.